My dog legitimately chose now to eat her food. So I just sat there and watched her until she finished slowly, very slowly. Hey guys, Katie here and happy weekend to you. I am very excited that it's the weekend. Today I wanna to talk about the two readathons that are going on next week. I am a co-host for the Slowathon or the Slow Readathon, which I'm very excited about. And I thought that I would combine my Slowathon TBR with my Diversathon TBR because I definitely want to get involved in that and I always want to read more diversely. That's my overall goal. So I think it's actually kind of a good mix of uh, both of the readathon. If you haven't heard of the Slowathon, it is the brainchild of Marlon Alina. I really love her channel and she is so sweet and wonderful. Definitely check out her channel if you have not and I will leave links below to um, her channel and to the Slowathon Twitter. But the idea is just to read slowly, to read with more intention, to read more deeply or critically, uh, kind of any mix of those things. And uh, Marlon made up some prompts that you could follow if you wanted, but it's kind of a casual thing. It's really just to encourage people to take their time with books rather than the kind of race of getting all the books and, you know, reaching Goodreads goals and things like that. It kind of comes at an interesting time since I have been trying to catch up on my Goodreads goal, but I'm really interested in it. I think it's a great idea and I think sometimes I definitely rush when I'm reading and I don't really I don't need to be, so I think it's going to be wonderful. So definitely check out uh, Marlin's video linked below with all the information about the Slowathon, and be sure to get involved next week. It starts on Monday the 12th, and the hashtags are Slowathon and Book Snails, which is my personal favorite. So you will see me on the Slowathon Twitter a couple of times. I think I signed up for four time slots. We'll do reading sprints and other fun things. I will also link below to the videos about the Diversathon, which is about reading diversely basically. And then what I'm really here for is just to talk about the books that I'm going to read next week. Uh, so let's get started with that. What I think my plan is, is just to kind of see what grabs me. So I have a bunch of different choices and uh, I'm just gonna pick whatever seems best. And the only book I am definitely reading is a book that I don't know, but it is a Sarah Waters book and I'm going to buddy read it with Nena from SCS Reads. I got The Night Watch by Sarah Waters from the library, but I really just picked it because I wanted a Sarah Waters book. I, I know that her books are pretty centric on LGBT issues and things like that, so I have been wanting to read her for a long time, but Nana said she was thinking about reading something, so it might not be this that I read next week. I might just return this and get whatever uh, Nana picks. The other books that I'm planning to read uh, are all um, shorter, which is great because The Night Watch is huge. One of them is The Sorcerer of the Wild Deeps by Kai Ashante Wilson. I keep hearing about this all over and it definitely came up when I was looking for shorter books. So I have that on my Kindle, it's ready to go. And I think since it's shorter, I will definitely get into that. The other book I got from the library, which I hope that I can get into, if not next week, then soon, is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I actually listened to like half of this on audiobook, but I really, really didn't like it. I did not like the audiobook format. I don't know why. It just doesn't work for me most of the time unless it's like a memoir or nonfiction. As far as I read, it was definitely a sad but very interesting read. It's about a young girl who dies and her family is kind of trying to get through that and deal with it. I have heard so much about this book. I know so many people who love it. I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, that hopefully it will be enjoyable. I also really want to read Jam on the Vine by LaShonda Catrice Barnett. When this book first came out last year, I heard about it somehow, and I was really excited to read it, but it did not come to my library. I could not find it in the bookstore, and at the time I was trying not to buy books. They have it at my library's, in my library's like ebook collection, so I can definitely get it for my Kindle for free, which is wonderful and I've been really excited about that for a long time. I don't know much about it, I just remember that I really wanted to read it. 
So those are a couple of books that I'm thinking about reading. So I'm not really sure what I'll get up to, but I kind of just wanted to talk about what I'm thinking about. These are all books um, like written by people of color or um, LGBT people. Um, oh, ah, mm. if I don't get it done in time, I will probably finish The Passion by Jeanette Winterson during the Slowathon slash Diversathon. I am rereading this and I absolutely love it. Um, it's really interesting because it definitely deals with kind of the idea of gender and, you know, what that means and the uh, very small difference between men and women. It's set in the 1800s um, and it talks a lot about Napoleon, which is really interesting. So, I like, if you have not read this, I do highly recommend it. I, I think it's my favorite Jeanette Winterson book. Also, I absolutely love this cover, but look, it's like, it just folded forward. I, I haven't taken care of this, you know, whatever. So anyway, let me know if you have any recommendations for the Diversathon. In particular, I would love to read some like, LGBT fiction. Um, I don't really want to do nonfiction next week, but I'm definitely in the process of reading some nonfiction that's going to happen in the future. So if you have any really great recs, uh, for LGBT reads, send them my way. I'm very interested. Anyway, that's everything I have, so I will see you guys next time, and I hope you will join us. Okay, bye.